As we know, everything in this world is made out of atom. Atom is the smallest unit of a chemical element. It consists of central nucleus which has protons, neutrons and also a set of electrons that move around the nucleus. Based on Niels Bohr's model, electrons circle or orbit around the nucleus of the atom. However, these electrons should only move around the nucleus in their own orbits. Depending on the number of electrons present in an atom, there will be different number of orbital shells in each atom. Electrons that are nearer to a nucleus have lower energy level than those that are further away due to the attraction forces of the nucleus. Therefore, valence electrons, which is electrons at the outermost shell of an atom, plays an important role in the formation of a chemical bond such as covalent bonding. There is two bands in the energy band which is called valence band and the conduction band. Valence band is a band that there is the highest occupied of electron and the conduction band is a band of orbitals that are high in energy in which the free electrons are present. Firstly, for the conduction band, there is no energy gap available. The valence band and the conduction band overlap each other. So the electron in the valence band can freely move to the conduction band. Due to the small amount of energy, there is a continuous flow of electrons in the conduction band. For semiconductor, the energy gap is very small. With the small amount of energy supplied, the electron can easily jump from valence band to the conduction band. Germanium, silicon, gallium, arsenide are the example of semiconductors. The energy gap for the, these elements are 1.1 electron volt for silicon, 0.67 electron volt for germanium and 1.4 electron volt for gallium arsenide. As the temperature increases, more electrons can be liberated from valence band to the conduction band and the conductivity also increases as well. In the case of insulator, the gap between the valence band and the conduction band is extremely larger. In general, the energy gap is more than 3 electron volt and almost no electron available for conduction. Therefore, more energy have to be supplied to valence electron. If there is no external energy supply to intrinsic semiconductor, for example, pure silicon crystal, the valence electron has insufficient energy escape to conduction band. But when an electron gains enough energy, it will escape from valence band towards the conduction band. A hole will be formed. This process is what we call electron hole pair. During conduction, free electrons are being generated continuously while some recombine with holes. When conduction electron which is the Free electron lose energy, they will fall back into the hole in valence band. In bonding diagram, one electron has sufficient energy and escape become free electron. It will leave hole in valence shell. A valence electron move into the first hole and leave second hole. A valence electron move into second hole and leave a third. In semiconductor production, Doping is the intentional introduction of impurities into an intrinsic semiconductor for the purpose of modulating its electrical properties. So, there are two types of semiconductor, which is P-type and N-type. As we know, pentyl valence impurities consist five valence electrons and form a compound with silicon which has four valence electrons they will extract one more electron from the pentyl valence impurities to achieve stable configuration. And the extra electron becomes free and mobility to go to another compound. So, we can conclude that in the n-type semiconductor, free electrons are the majority carriers and the whole are the minority carriers. A p-type semiconductor are created by doping an intrinsic semiconductor with trivalent impurities. Trivalent atoms are elements from group 13 like boron, aluminium, gallium, and iridium. P-type semiconductor have larger holes concentration because of the trivalent atoms in the semiconductor having only three valence electrons bonded covalently with silicon atoms of four valence electrons that will create a lack of electrons in the covalent bond creating a hole carrier. P-type semiconductor have holes as majority carrier and electron as minority carrier.